all, and welcome back to the Summary of the Employment Program's 10-minute tip video series. Today, we will be talking with Harvest Belante from Together We Can on how to build your own personal brand. Let's see what she has to say. Everyone should prepare before an interview. There's no reason to go to an interview without having an idea of what questions you're likely to get. The number one interview question tell me about yourself. If you Google top 10 interview questions, that will undoubtedly come up number one. There's no reason not to be prepared for it. The best way to prepare to answer, tell me about yourself, is to start thinking of yourself as a brand. What is your personal brand? All right, so to expound upon what Harvest has said, we'll kind of go through this and determine what a brand is, right? kind of it out. So what is a brand? So let's say, for instance, think about Nike, right? So what do you associate with the Nike brand? Um, just do it for one, is good, and also like exercise, sports, different activities, stuff like that. So what a brand basically is, is what you um, want yourself to protect, right? What you want to be seen as. Uh, for instance, uh, think about um, employers and what qualities they want. You know, if they were hiring, what would you want to hire? You know, what type of personality do you want when it comes to meeting customers and employees and all this stuff like that? So, let's, you know, make a list of what you would want. Um, so, let's say, you know, you're friendly. So, you add that, right? Positive, resourceful, you know, the list goes on and on, patient. And you can just start start racking up qualities. You're like, oh, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. I'm diligent, I'm on time, I'm punctual, I'm trustworthy. All of those things. But as you'll soon see, like you can list these things, and that's cool, but it's a lot different, you know, from listing to actually kind of explaining and building your brand, right? And so we'll let Harvest kind of explain that in a few. So did you take a good look at your list? A really good look at your list. The thing about the list is, when you see all these qualities, just because I'm asking you to narrow it down, it doesn't mean that you don't have all of these qualities. Most of us have every single quality, but in different quantities throughout the day, depending on the circumstance. What we need to do is take a look at our list and say, all right, what top three qualities stand out to me? What do I think I can be consistent at every single day? When I wake up, I consistently feel like these qualities are with me throughout every situation, no matter how stressful or emotional. That's how we start to really see what's inside and what's part of our core. And your core is your brand. That's what we're trying to get to. So take a look at that list. Ask yourself a few questions. It might help you figure out what your top three qualities should be. All right, so let's start rounding out these qualities. So think to yourself, what am I 99.9% .9 of the time? So basically, when you run into me on the street, what, what, what am I? And then also, how would my family and friends describe me? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna think about what you are 99% of the time and think, how would your family and friends describe you? Because if that's how they describe you, chances are that's how you are 99.9% .9 of the time. And then we're gonna take that particular Venn diagram and the parts that are in the middle, that's what we're gonna do. So for instance, let's say your family says you're patient. Well, guess what, that's number one. And then you keep going, you round it out. Be like, all right, so what else? Maybe they'd say I'm resourceful, you know? Uh, or how about positive? That works too. So now you have resourceful and positive. Congratulations, you just rounded out your top three. However, let's be mindful again as to what Harvey said regarding lists. So you've gone ahead, you've made your list, and you've come up with your top three qualities. That's a really good start. But well, we've got to go further than that. We don't want to go into an employer and still just give them a list, even though those qualities may speak more to our character. We need to go a little further and we need to start giving them some examples. Remember, they just met you. They don't know if you say that you're friendly. How do they know you're friendly? Let's tell them, let's show them and give them an, an example from your real life of how you are, what you say you are. That's our next step. 
Okay, so let's put this into a practical application, put it into practice. So think about examples from your life, because the best thing to speak on are experiences that you know about, right? So you say you're patient, anybody can say they're patient, but what is a time in your life that you've had to show your patience? And generally, you'll get this type of question in an interview. Um, but like, how, how are you patient? Expound upon that. Well, let's say one time that you had to babysit some neighbor's children, or three of them, and they were fighting you know all night and they miss their parents and everything else and then you instead of getting flustered figured out some games to play and to pass the time and sympathize with them because you felt sad you know and the parents weren't with them so you ended up having a good night after that that's something that you can put in your interview that's how you can kind of answer the question right there to show that you can be patient to show that you have a modicum of patience as opposed to just saying yeah I'm patient but without any kind of concrete evidence uh, so let's look at some other examples. So that was a really good example for patient. What about our other words? Maybe you have an a, example that actually combines both words. Maybe there was that time that you were heading into work and you realized that you had a flat tire. Luckily, you caught it in time. So you were able to text your friend using your resources and say, hey, could you give me a ride from work? And can you pick me up later too? And if you do, I'll make it worth your while. I'll make sure that on my way out, I'll buy you a special uh, value meal number one. And when I got to work, I was in a good mood because I had a ride and I didn't need to stress about my car and I stayed positive and I helped customers and I even joked with my manager that I was trying to hook a new customer on our food by giving a value meal in exchange for a ride to work. That's an example of being both resourceful and positive and it would make any employer want to hire. So I always remember that the best way to explain who you are is to use quite these examples about yourself. Because again, how can you answer, tell me about yourself if you're not talking about yourself and just using uh, broad examples or examples that pertain to somebody else and not to you. The best way to convey who you are is to use your experiences. Now we'll have Harvest close us out. So you've got your personal brand and hopefully you were able to convince an employer of that brand and they hired you. Congratulations. But now you've still got some work to do. You have to make sure to preserve your personal brand, which means showing up consistently the way that you said you would in the interview. So if I told someone in the interview that I was a very positive person, it wouldn't do me much good to show up every day for work in a bad mood. The customer says, hi, how are you? And I say, just counting the hours, wait until I get off work. That doesn't make someone feel like you're very positive. We have to be on point and look at our brand every day and evaluate that we are living our brand consistently because remember your brand becomes your reputation. And one day you want someone to hear about a great job opportunity and know that that company is looking for someone who's positive, resourceful, and also patient and they think of you immediately because that's your brand and that's what you have been every single day that they've known you. That's how you get the word of mouth type of job opportunities that are coveted that will help you skip the interview process one day. That's what we want for you. So start here, start today, learn your personal brand and make sure to preserve it every day following. Good luck in all the interviews. We'll be here for you if you have any questions. Thank you so much for your time. Building a personal brand is key to landing a job. Before your next job interview, try taking some of Harvest tips and think about what you have to say to prove that you are the best and the right fit for this job. If you have any questions, feel free to contact Harvest Belante at H-B-E-L-L-A-N-T-E -E at TWEFoundation.org. Don't forget to take the quick quiz for a chance to win some free SYEP swag. We'll see you next time as we talk about communicating with confidence.